Okay, we're going to start this video today, and I'm not a very good videographer, so uh, please bear with me. But my valve was leaking, and the handle was broken too. And so I needed to pull it off. I didn't want to lay down here a long time, so I grabbed my Milwaukee quarter inch impact tool and uh, put on the quarter inch bolts and hold them off. They ever, all four of them had been rusted for 23 years and there wasn't any, certainly wasn't any uh, anti-seize lubricant on those. They all broke. And then this happened. Broke off corner. Plus, you can see even on the valve, there's some broken damages there. Now it's possible that I could have just cut those bolts with a, say, a Dremel tool or a cutoff tool or a hacksaw. Um, and maybe it would have been, maybe they wouldn't have broken. Or maybe that was my leak. Maybe I caught a rock on that corner and it was already broken. So in this video, I'm going to try to fix this without removing the whole tank because there's not a lot of room back here. And there's no extra piece of just straight three inch pipe to attach to. So I'm gonna have to cut off this flange and then try to mate up something to the outside diameter. Now this is ABS plastic which is very hard to make anything else stick to, but you can use ABS, you can easily glue ABS plastic to ABS plastic using uh, ABS cement. Uh, and for non-pressure applications and, and, and sewer and black water, uh, gray water, that's all non-pressure. So let's see what we can come up with. I'm going to do a lot of short videos, try to stitch them together, and, and see where we go. Okay, so I got my flange cut off. You can see where it's broken. You can see that there's two layers of pipe, and those are well bonded together so that it would never come out. This is my new replacement. We look at them. We can see that they're same size. Okay, so let's look the outside diameter of this. Roughly. Three point nine seven. Hey, I think four inch pipe will work. That'll make this a whole lot easier. Okay, so I went to town and bought another ten foot section of pipe, four inch this time, and measured it, and it's three point nine five four. I've, roughly and I've already dry fitted and uh, it felt good uh, with these measurements I feel really good that we have interference or near interference fit and so uh, we're gonna make it okay I've cut my three inch piece of pipe four inch piece of pipe I'm sorry four inch piece of pipe I didn't cut it you know, some people are good at some things some people are bad really bad at some things I'm bad at hacksaws Anyway, let's try a dry fit. I've already tried it once, but good. You look inside, very nice. And I've already tried it out there uh, on the other piece of pipe that's coming out of the tank, and it fits just right. So I'm ready to put on some gloves and some glasses and, and glue it up. I'll show you the final result. Now, 
just as a uh, as for information, I would never do this if I was if we were using pressure. If I was doing this with water, but since we have less than one psi, since it's essentially a no, non-pressure situation application, then going that's no different than a coupling. We're just going to the outside, and we have so much surface area where we are gluing and bonding the pipe. I feel really good about this. Okay, I have cut off the flange using a sawzall and uh, I smoothed it out both with a file and knife. Made sure I got all the burrs off the inside and the outside diameter. Cleaned everything well with soap and water and then buffed it with a emery cloth. Maybe I'll get up there where I can see it. The sides of it. There we go. So it's nice and clean and smooth, although there is some blue lines on it, which may cause me some interference. But let's start putting the pieces together. This is the uh, ABS cement that I used. Uh, it's very nice. It's it is a a lot of it was pretty liquid, so make sure you have. Uh, your floor covered because I left several big splotches on my floor and it does get hard. Uh, it surprised me. Uh, it's not like PVC cement so much and uh, but it worked really really good. Okay I now have my new flange on. Let's get some light up here. You can see all the glue is dry front and back. We got glue all the way around it. Got four inch pipes over that three inch pipe. It's tight. It looks good. Now, in hindsight, I probably should have put about a, a small amount of three inch pipe or the same amount as that uh, flange adapter because now I'm going to have a little bit of space there for debris to accumulate. But it'll wash out. It'll be fine. It'll certainly seal. So I'm going to assemble it now and I'll show you the final results. This is a type of anti-seize that I will put on my bolts. Um, I've used it for years. It's, it is high temperature, but it's good for everything. Um, not guaranteeing that it will work in that environment for 23 years, but at least I'm going to try it. Here's my can I'm actually going to open. This is my spare that's on the shelf. Okay, there we go. Now notice that I put the bolts in from the back side and tightened up the nuts on this side. And that's after, again, I used anti-seize uh, compound on all of the threads. The reason I did it is first, that's the way you're supposed to put it. You, When you're turning a uh, nut to loosen or tighten, you should be turning the nut and not the bolt. And since you will be doing it from the this side rather than from the back side, you should always have the nuts looking this way. Second, when this has to be serviced again, which I hope it's another 20-some years, then I whoever will have at least, whether it's me, someone else, We'll have the opportunity to spray liquid wrench on those and perhaps loosen those without breaking them. Anyway, there we go. There's our installation. I've got the cap on. I'm going to put the, the cap up here. Notice I didn't clean it. There it is. And, and there we go. We've got clearance, clearance, and everything fits right back up. Looks good as new. I'm going to flip, fill it up with water and see where we go. Okay, there we go. I've got about 10 gallons of water in the holding tank, which is over half full. And there's not a single drip. So I'm going to call it good. Um, thank you all for watching. I hope this helps somebody. Um... I'm not an influencer, so you don't even have to like this video. Uh, certainly don't 
subscribe because I very seldom put out videos. But I hope this helps somebody. Um, it certainly typically would have been a 10, 15 minute project just to replace the seals or maybe even the whole valve like I did. Uh, as it was, since I have had to order things, uh, it took, well, roughly a week. Uh, but total time expended was probably just about an hour and a half. Um, not counting going and get parts. Talking about that, I did, uh, and I don't have any sponsors, but I did get things from Zorro. I also bought things from E-Trailer. And I bought some things from uh, Walmart uh, and from Lowe's. And so uh, uh, all the parts are readily available, just maybe not locally. And probably most of the parts, if you have a camping store near you, are locally. So there you go. I got it fixed. I'm happy with that and uh, hope it lasts a very long time. Thank you very much. Okay, as I was putting my video together, um, I realized that I might as well show everyone that the solution was not linear, that it was a little bit more difficult than it appeared. Um, first of all, I was looking for something to match up to this, and I knew it was close to four inches. I didn't know exactly what, uh, what pipe was, so I ordered this. 4x3 ABS adapter. And that was the first thing that came in for me. And I thought, all right, cool. Um, likewise, uh, I can, uh, so, but I got it. And it was too loose to go over the pipe. I could have shimmed it up with, you know, ABS sheet, but that would have been a disaster just even trying to hold it. Uh, but you see, even though it's a four inch adapter, it doesn't go over four inch pipe. It's about 4.22, uh, seven port, you know, ID. So I, I don't know even what type of adapter it is, but it would have been nice because I could have bought a threaded nipple, put it down in there with this in threaded. And I could have bought this flange adapter that's threaded internally. And I could have just screwed it on, and then next time that I uh, that my flange got broken, or if I you know had to replace the seals or replace the valve, and if the back flange got broken, then I could have just you know unscrewed it, but you know put a new one, screwed it back on, and I wouldn't have had to do any cutting and pasting. Anyway, that cost me several days and some money. Uh, but uh, the solution that, uh, yeah, that I came up with was a whole lot simpler. Also, it fit on my RV uh, because if you start putting a lot of different adapters in there and you're going to get uh, far too much length uh, coming out. So, but I, it, was a, it was a headache, for, and I had to go think about it for a while and uh, till I thought, got to looking at four-inch pipe and said, that ought to work. Again, thank you for watching.